In this video, we will walk you through your stats page and explain our rating system. Your stats page contains all kinds of useful data about your gameplay and can be accessed by selecting My Game Stats under your name on the top right of the website. The page is divided into three sections. An overview giving high-level summary data, rating information with historical data depicted graphically, and a hand summary showing which hands have been completed and how often. So let's discuss each of these in turn. Under the overview section there are three boxes. The box on the left contains your win record. This tells you the number of games you've played and how many of these games ended up in a win, a loss or a wall game. There's also a pie chart depicting these numbers visually as a proportion giving you a feel for your percentages as far as each category is concerned. The middle box contains information regarding your speed. You will see your average game duration and your think times for both the Charleston and the game itself. The think times are a better representation of your speed than the game duration, since the overall game time also depends on the speed of your opponents. The think time for the Charleston includes the time it takes you to pass tiles as well as the time required to make decisions such as continuing the Charleston or how many tiles to pass in the courtesy pass. The think time for the game includes the time taken to discard a tile when it's your turn and the time taken before calling or ignoring a discard. The box on the right of the overview section includes the total number of points you've accrued and below this the breakdown of points earned and deducted during the period. You'll also see the average number of points received per game. Note that on I Love Marge we do not place much emphasis on total points accrued as this is more a reflection of how many games you've played and is not necessarily representative of your skill. We prefer to focus on rating and we'll give more information regarding this in a moment. Continuing down this section you'll see the number of times your hand was called dead. Your hand can be called dead by another player or by the system, though the system will only call it dead if you called Mahjong in error. Finally, you'll see data regarding the average number of jokers you received and swapped per game. We all have a tendency to believe we're not getting enough jokers and that the system is unfair, hence our reason for adding this section. This is especially true when playing with three bots. It may seem that they get more jokers than they should, but remember, there are three of them and one of you, so collectively, you'd expect them to get three times more jokers. We also have a tendency to remember the times we received zero jokers and totally forget the times when we received five. On average, you should receive between 1.7 and 1.8 jokers per game, since most games don't get played to the very end. The second section on the page includes your current rating, as well as a chart showing its evolution over time. A player's rating is a key metric on I Love Marge and the basis for placement on our leaderboard. So let's go over how ratings are determined. Our ratings are calculated in a similar way to those in chess games and various other sports. A win will always result in an increase in rating and a loss will result in a decrease in rating. However, the amount of rating gained or lost depends on several factors. The first factor is the rating of the other players at the table. For instance, a win against a player with a higher rating will result in a greater increase in your rating than a win against a similarly or lower rated player. Conversely, losing to a lower rated player will result in a greater decrease in your rating than a loss to a similarly rated or higher rated player. The number of points that you gain or lose per game will also affect the amount your rating rises or falls. The more points earned by the winner of the, each game, and the more points deducted from an opponent, the greater the impact on the rating for a given game. Another piece of the puzzle relates to the number of games played on the platform. For example, players will see greater swings in their rating when first joining the platform, with a more accurate rating being accomplished over time. For this reason, early ratings will be marked as provisional. Each player starts with a rating of 1500 which then fluctuates based on the factors we've just discussed and its accuracy increases the more games played. Even though Mahjong is partially a game of chance, the luck element will even out over time. Good days cancel out bad days. And statistically, a player's rating will be fairly accurate in the long run. 
The third section on the stats page shows a representation of the card. Due to copyright restrictions, we can't actually show the winning combinations, just the line number in each section. Next to each line, you'll see how many times you've completed that particular hand and what percentage of your overall wins it represents. Completed hands are highlighted in blue, making them easier to spot. Most players find this section of the stats page quite eye-opening. It highlights their tendencies to focus on certain hands or a particular section of the card, with other sections sometimes remaining completely untouched. It certainly gives players the opportunity to identify new hands to work towards. And why not challenge yourself to complete the entire card? One more thing I'd like to point out. At the top of the page, you'll see a selector. This allows you to restrict the stats to a given period of time. By default, it shows your stats from the start of your membership, but you can restrict this to the last 7 days, 30 days or 3 months. This is a useful way to check how your stats have changed over time and whether your gameplay is improving. For example, have your average think times decreased, indicating you're becoming a faster player? So that's a quick run through of the stats page. We hope you find this data useful. Please let us know if there's any other interesting information you'd like to see on your stats page.